Wow. What a performance we've seen this evening. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ambassadors present here. Uh, the main man, Sewa Sewa, and your wife, your dear mother, that was introduced to us here, all guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what I picked immediately from this, the Janzi instrument, is that to be able to play it, you have to be ambidextrous. So it cannot be played by just anybody. So Sewa Sewa, apart from inventing and coming up with this instrument, he also has the capacity, and he said he can play, it plays two different tunes at the same time. So it's not just being able to invent this instrument, but he has a talent. My name, as I was introduced, is Major General Leopold Kianda. I'm the Chief of Staff of the Land Forces, and I'm here to present uh, the Special Presidential Advisor for Special Operations, Lieutenant General Muhozi Kainerugaba. He was unable to come and grace this very important occasion due to other pressing official commitments. However, it is my privilege and honor to be here with you tonight on this official launch of the Jans instrument by Sewa Sewa. I am delighted to be here with you this evening to participate in the launch of the first Janzi instrument, the first of its kind in Uganda and the whole of East Africa region. Music is as old as the existence of the human race on the planet Earth. During the creation in the book of Genesis, God spoke the words and things came into existence, meaning that sounds have got the energy to make things happen. Back in the old African traditions, communities communicated using sound signals for, from instruments such as drums, mouth whistles, and flutes, among others. Certain types of drumming signaled danger. Communities prepared to defend themselves. Traditional communities also had also used sound in form of music for joyful moments, such as celebrations after war, marriage, childbirth, and after a successful hunt. They danced to tunes from rudimentary um, instruments they made. The rhythm introduced them to a dance in a certain way, thus the creation of culture of the cultural dance. Early musicians in Uganda <clears throat> mainly use traditional instruments to play their music, dance, and entertain. Messages were relayed through the music and by way of instruments were played. During the independence uh, liberation struggles, music was a platform through which people spoke about injustices by colonialists, so music actually speaks. From the above, it is evident that instruments, when fused together with voice, create a mellow, flowing rhythm or musical voice that communicates to the body to dance. Dancing naturally flows with the rhythm, creating joy and happiness in the hearts of people. They will smile and jubilate in joy. Modern music instruments were introduced in Uganda by the colonialists, they carried guitars, organs, pianos for the use in churches run by the Church Missionary Society. If you look around at our traditional schools, which were church founded, a number of them have got big organs built in the chapels. The music industry in Uganda has grown to a notch high, higher with a lot of variety but lacking in richness. The music today has been blended with some foreign cultures, <clears throat> such as Swahili, Lingala, rap, rock, and reggae, and funk, thus veering off the Ugandan traditional music content. We're told here that part of what Janzi wants to do 
is to lift and bring back and strengthen the Ugandan culture. We now have got mixed grill, almost making our traditional music extinct. In the modern Uganda today, musicians of these times play music that appeals to crowds. They babble uncoordinated lyrics without meaning or direction. Some of their music promotes hatred, immorality, xenophobia, personal grudges, and at times witchcraft. And the fusing of the traditional Ugandan African music with its contemporary world music produces a nice jazzy sound. It is fantastic. Music from the spirit and the soul is a therapy which brings healing to the souls and calmness to the body. Uganda has a few jazz musicians. Um, I was told one, once that one was playing his saxophone, I think, in London, Hyde Park. And uh, when he opened his eyes, there was a swarm of people of all races and color listening. This tells you that music goes across. It cuts across race, it cuts across color, um, color uh, religion. Music brings us all together. What would all those people be doing around a man practicing with a saxophone? He was in his own world, probably far deep in the musical spirit, but a good sound attracted the crowds to come and listen. Music is powerful. So the invention of the jazz, jazzy instrument, I am sure, was inspired by the need to do something different to cover the gap in the Ugandan music, in the music industry. The computer-generated music has blinded many not to think of doing what Sewa has done. We applaud you, Sewa, Sewa, and your group for standing in the gap. As we see, the jazz instrument is a 22-stringed harp-like instrument, I think modified from an adungu. I am sure our guests this evening can bear me witness that it sounds great. Music is associated with the culture, and I thank Sewa for not abandoning his culture, but seeking to modernize it and putting it on the world map. Thank you, Sewa Sewa, for that powerful performance, quite outstanding, and we have had a great evening so far. You have stood out to be counted among the great musicians in this country, Uganda. You have a big future ahead of you, and thank you for putting Uganda on the world map. I implore on other musicians not to abandon their culture, uh, cultural roots by embracing foreign cultures, because our culture is rich, but promote our own culture should be the way to go. Inventions like these enrich our values, which assures us that cultures will never become extinct, but grow to exist forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you once again uh, for coming to be here, and I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.